Force Troop Commander and Chairman of the Global Risk Consultancy, Guardian Angel, retired Lieutenant Colonel James Reese. Colonel, great to have you in. Um, what is your take on what's going on in the South China Sea? I, I see that. I, I'm sorry, Liz, can you say again? Sure. What's your take on what's going on in the South China Sea? Yeah, Liz, well, this is China doing what they do very well, what we call whole of government attacks. They're able to use all of their elements of national power to include, include their political, their military, their propaganda, and their economic aspects to really make uh, friction against the United States. Now, our tariffs that we've done, the president has done against China, is also making them a little bit more squirrely about what's going on. But these issues in the South China Sea right now are getting contentious, as you can see in that video you show with the ships. When you got two ships of that size come within 45 feet, that becomes a critical mass uh, um, aspect. That's a great point you make, Colonel. I, I, forgive me, I think it was 45 yards, but you make an important point. And here's, it looks like feet there, but it, looked, it was pretty close. Here's what also is going on, Colonel. We know that China has been censoring and telling its news outlets, its state-run news outlets, do not, do not run coverage of their poor economic uh, growth problems. The factory output is down. Economic confidence for consumers going down. Debt my, my, piling up. The vice president, to your point, Colonel, saying that President Trump's leadership is working and China wants a different American president. So how much of that is a threat to the U.S.? Well, Liz, I tell you, the president, he really is. He is countering with our whole of government aspects, which we in the past have not done very well. We're good at parochial aspects or single aspects of government, but the president has really put the hammer down on China with this whole of government counterattacks back to him. As you can see, what that really will start to affect us is with the elections. The Chinese would love to get President Trump uh, out of there because he brings this business mindset that the world has not seen in 50 years from the United States. So he's been effective across the board. Colonel Reese, appreciate your insights and thank you for your service to our country. Thanks, Liz. Coming up, the hyperbole.